All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today is Wednesday morning. It's about 10 o'clock right now. Um, I went and grabbed some breakfast this morning from Starbucks. Got two reduced fat turkey bacon sandwiches um, and a ice skinny caramel macchiato. Um, so with that, it's just like uh, no fat milk and there's a uh, sugar-free like vanilla creamer in there. And so I'm gonna eat that up. It's like one of my favorite things to eat on like prepping stuff because it's like the macros are really good on them. And I'll put the macros on the screen for you guys for the, uh, for the coffee. And the uh, the sandwich is gonna put a little sriracha on there, and uh, yeah, so gonna start gonna start the day off uh, with that for breakfast. I'm going to finish editing today's video, so uh, Wednesday's video is gonna go up today. So as I finish editing it this morning, and then um, I'm gonna try to get the day keep it moving because I don't want to string today. I don't want to kind of get everything done. It's supposed to rain today, so. Got to get a haircut today later on, so I'll check in with y'all a little bit later when it's uh, time to get out and get some stuff done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm on my way to go get a haircut. I'm trying out a barber here in Houston, Texas. He cut my hair last time, but today I'm giving him a new task. He's got to line the beard up. Very important task. So if he can get, if he can do me right on this haircut, man, may have a new barber here in Houston. So I'll see y'all there. did his thing man just came back from the barbershop and he did it exactly how I needed him to got the beard lined up perfectly part on the side fade edge up everything is clean so I'm definitely going back to him he did his thing man for sure so now I'm about to grab me a bite to eat um, because I'm gonna try to head to the gym at 4 30 so I'm gonna make me something to eat real quick and then head off to the gym all right guys so I decided to do the turkey burgers again because they were really good last night nice change of pace so same thing reduced sugar ketchup honey mustard two turkey burgers, I uh, got some water on the side, and then I'm going to take uh, my creatine, RSP Nutrition Creatine. And if you guys ever want to use uh, these products, I always leave the link, uh, my uh, my discount code in the description box if you guys ever want to use it. Um, just five grams of creatine monohydrate. Nice, real simple, easy. I'm not too crazy on the supplement. So that's what I've got. Going to enjoy this real quick and then um, I still got a few hours to kill before it's time to go to the gym. So I'll check in with y'all once it's time to go. All right, what's up guys? Getting ready to head out to the gym right now. About to go train some back and biceps. And I'm gonna try and hurry up because it's supposed to storm today in Houston. And on the side of town where I go to the gym, it floods really bad. So I don't wanna get caught in the weather. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get over there before it gets too bad and uh, get a solid workout in. So I'll see y'all at the gym. Golly, man. So much traffic. What's up guys made it to the gym about to train some back today um, and I'm actually at Hank's gym right now from a recommendation from a subscriber so shout out to Jared Hill he told me to come check out Hank's gym I actually ended up getting a membership here so been gonna be trying it out for a month it's um, it's not like a contract so try it for a month it is a little bit far away from my house but I do enjoy this gym I've been here a few times and so today we're about to train some back and so the way my back programs are set up it was a lot, the last time I trained back was a lot different than the way I typically train back. So when I train back, even though I'm not doing like squats 
or like like one of the big three like squad dead or bench i am still training with like a power um, like strength type mindset and so so the way that i do that is i actually do pin lay rows and so i'm going to do some really heavy pin lay rows to start off my workouts like i always do i start off with some form of strength based training and then i follow up with isolation work so that's what today is going to look like so i'm going to start off on some pin lay rows five sets of three um, and i'm going to follow off with um, three rowing motions and then three vertical motions and i've already done my pull-ups and stuff and i've already warmed up so already started off with pull-ups but i don't technically count those and then after i finish all of my back exercises i'm gonna knock out some bicep work as well too at the end so that's what i've got for today about to get started on these pin lay rows today's gonna be a little bit different because you guys are getting like a strength based back workout so it should be good hope you guys are ready for it i'm ready to start training so let's do it So I just finished up my working sets on the pin lay row. I'm working with 243 pounds today for five sets of three. And so for those of you who aren't familiar about how a pin lay row is supposed to go, you pretty much you want to get a slight bend in your knees, bend over like you're about to do a bend over row. And I usually take my pinkies out to the ring. And so that's where I'm gripping my bar at. And then whenever you're setting up, you almost want to like, you grip the bar, you almost want to like break it and like lock your lats in. So whenever you lock down, you're locking your lats in and you're much, pretty much pulling through with your elbows towards your chest, boom, and then you're coming all the way back down towards the floor and uh, keeping your core tight, engaging your core. And that's uh, that's how it's performed if you guys aren't familiar with how that exercise is supposed to be done. And so, finished up with those, and now I'm gonna drop it down and uh, do a few AMRAP sets at uh, probably about like 185 or so and uh, get a get some uh, good volume in at the end of these. So I'm gonna do two AMRAP sets and I'm gonna move on to the next exercise and I'll see y'all there. Just finished up the back portion of the workout. Next, we're gonna move on to the biceps. So we're gonna start off with some single arm dumbbell preacher curls. And as always, we're going to failure on each of these exercises. So let's go ahead and get started with this and finish up this workout. All right guys, just finished up the workout. Went great. Um, pin lay rows felt good, felt strong. Um, and the isolation work had a great pump. Uh, biceps, I felt like were kind of off. Um, felt like I didn't get the most out of them, but it's all good. I think once I got to it, like mentally, I was kind of uh, disconnected from the gym. I had been in here for a while, but right now, about to knock out some cardio and I was thinking of a topic to talk to you guys about and uh, I went through some of my old messages and I found a topic that related to what I was doing and so doing cardio and the question is should you do cardio 
while bulking. Is it optimal? Should you, can you, you know, all sides of the spectrum as far as it relates to that question. And so to answer that, um, ideally, whenever you're bulking, trying to gain weight, whatever you want to call it, um, you need to be in a caloric surplus. So if you're going for the weight on the scale going up, if you're looking for that, you want to be taking in more calories than you're expending. So if you're doing cardio, obviously you're gonna be cutting back on the amount of calories um, that you're intaking because you're gonna be burning calories. So ideally, you know, if you're eating enough for the amount of cardio that you're doing, then yeah, you can do cardio. But if you're not, and you're gonna be in a deficit, then you'll be losing weight. So you see where I'm going with this. So um, instances where I say cardio is a good thing for bulking. Number one, cardio is great for cardiovascular health, obviously. Um, staying in shape, if you wanna go out for a run, you won't feel like crap if you're keeping your cardiovascular health up. Second reason, <clears throat> you'll be able to maintain your body fat percentage a lot better, in my opinion. So I call it like a damage control. So um, if you have a tendency to kind of get away from your macros whenever you're bulking, intuitive eating, whatever you're doing, um, <clears throat> cardio will help you kind of maintain or kind of manage the damage that you're doing through your diet. It won't do it all, but it will help you um, to kind of stay on track if you're uh, consistent with it. So I've done both ways. At the beginning of this bulk that I'm on right now, I did no cardio. Now, as I peaked on my bulk, I think the heaviest I've gotten up to was 209. Um, the heaviest, um, excuse me, I lost my train of thought, but um, heaviest I got was 209. Um, and once I got to that point, I started implementing cardio back in again a little bit. Started doing one day, two days a week, here and there. Now it's a little bit more consistent because uh, I'm trying to level off at uh, where I'm at right now because I'm about to begin a mini cut. And so that's where I'm at. That's my thought on the topic. So if you have that question, hope I helped you. Hope I covered everything. I'm trying to think. I think I covered everything. If I didn't, leave a comment below. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below. Uh, and yeah, that's it. About to knock out this cardio. I got about 10 more minutes to go. Just had to get 200 calories burned. And uh, get out of here and go get some food because I'm hungry. Got to fuel the beast. So I'll see y'all at home. All right, what's going on YouTube family? Just made it back home and I just realized that I have a little dilemma here. I've got a macro dilemma. So I've got 138 grams of carbs, I've got 14 grams of fat to eat, and about 90 grams of protein to eat. And I'm trying to decide the best combination of food to stay on track of my macros because my fats are really low, really low compared to all of the carbs and protein that I have to take in. So what I've decided to do was make some protein pancakes as a post-workout meal to finish off the macros for the day. So power cakes is going to be the meal of choice and I will show y'all how they come out once I finish. All right guys, so here's how it came out. Three blueberry protein pancakes. Got about 100 grams of blueberries on there. And I'm gonna finish off the rest of the protein with this RSP Nutrition Whey. Cookies and cream flavor. Be about 50 grams, two scoops. And that's going to do it for the macros for the night. So I'm gonna end the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up for me and leave comments below if you have any questions for me. And until next time, live to inspire, I'm out.